Lemon tea? Look at the lemon tea, it's so cute! Welcome back to another episode of Sims 4 in the city and of course we are back in the city So in the last episode this little house Reno had an extra member a very cute extra member because it was of course Little baby Faith she came over for a little sleepover in fact I can still see her bed in the flat right there that needs to go that does need to go I'm also actually have last um the last in the city video up as well So I'm looking through the comments so I can kind of tick off some of the things you guys have been suggesting and we can have a little bit of a chit chat on them as we play this little little episode right here also we're gonna be decorating the flat for Christmas today so hopefully you guys are super super excited about that if you are give us a big cheeky thumbs up and can we just talk for a second about how oh, sad it is when bad. they don't play my little intro song when I get to the house I hate that also I got here and thought oh my gosh what has happened to Roxy's arm? She's been cut to pieces, but it's actually just her tattoo. She has not been cut to pieces, you guys. You can calm right down. So, one of the things that you guys... Oh, look at this. Look at this. That doesn't look good, Jessie. That actually looks pretty dangerous to be next to. I'm not going to lie to you. I can also hear a very sad little kitten doing a little cry. Oh, my gosh. Because the food bowl part of his food is gone. You guys say that they pick this up and move it around when they're hungry. Oh, look at this. I can set a schedule time. Why don't we do it once every 12 hours? There we go. And then also, Jess Rooney, you're like awesome at fixing things. I know it's kind of in the blinds, so it's going to be a little bit tricky. But can you please go ahead and fix that? And then it's 1 a.m. in the like freaking morning. So can we please get, have you filled that up? You filled it up, but where is the bowl? <laughs> Guys, why do the animals do this? Why do they carry the bowl around with them? Like, I don't know where he's put the bowl. So like, how do I feed him? How on earth am I going to get him fed again if there's no bowl? I don't understand. We also need to clean out his little stink. Oh, I don't want to put the whole thing in my inventory. I don't want to clean out the poops. Oh, wait, this one does it itself, doesn't it? It's kind of... <gasps> what? Oh, my gosh. I've never seen that in action before. It looks all cute, but then his eyes are laser beams. And they laser beam the poop. Which is kind of scary. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, how come his bowl is gone and I can't find it? Like, the cat doesn't have an inventory, does it? So I don't know where the bowl is gone, you guys. However... 1 a.m. in the morning, folks, please can. I'm gonna delete this bed. And actually, one of you guys in the comments said that you don't like the desk in the room because you think the desk doesn't really go with the rest of the room. So I could potentially have a look at some other desk options. However, I really like the Pokemon desk, you guys. I mean, that one probably does go a little bit better, but... No, guys, 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 guys. I want to keep the Pokemon desk, okay? I really like the Pokemon desk. So can we get a little rider to sleep, please? Because it's really, really late. Roxy's really hungry, so why don't you grab some foodies before you go to bed and then put that away. And then some of the other things that you guys were saying. How am I? How do I put this away? What? <laughs> put away. There we go. So you guys are still, no matter what I try and say, you guys really hate Ryder's hair. So I will mix up his hair a little bit. We'll do a little bit of an appearance change of everybody in the house. And then we can have a little bit of a chit chat about some of... The suggestions you guys were saying in the comments, you guys loved Faith and Ryder together, which was uh, apparently not, Fra I thought it was Frankie. You said you love Ryder, and I was like, oh, Frankie and Ryder, but no, it was Faith and Ryder. So you guys like Ryder as a cute little cousin couple. Not a, not like a couple, not, not like that, no, not weird. Just like as in they're uh, our cousins and they're really cute together and they'll be bestest frienders. You guys also like this cute little bun bun. Who's so tiny. Look how small he is. Although his leg looks really big. You guys were saying that when I was ill, I should have been ordering medicine at the computer as well. Oh, there's bills to pay. Let's get those paid off. However, I can never, ever find... Like, look, it's not there. It's not there. So how do you purchase medicine? Like, literally, how do you do it? There's no option to do it, you guys. Look, it's not even on there either. Sell Frankie. Oh my gosh, what? There's no option to, to ever buy medicine, so I don't really understand what the dealio is with the medicine, but my sims get ill all the time and there's nothing I can do about it, and it's really annoying. So another thing you guys have been talking about a lot is um, making Frankie a transgender sim. Now, I kind of spoke about this before when you guys were saying that if Jesse and Roxy have um, a baby boy, I should make him a gay sim. And I said that because both Jesse and Roxy are a, they're a gay couple, obviously. Actually, 
Je- Rock- Jesse is not gay, she's bisexual, but they are a gay couple together. And there is a really negative stereotype that exists in real life, which says that um, if um, a gay couple have a baby, then that baby will automatically be gay. And I wanted to stay well away from that stereotype because it's often a stereotype used by quite homophobic people as a reason to say that gay people shouldn't be allowed to adopt children and all that kind of thing. So I think it's a negative stereotype to reinforce, but I don't want to make him like gay or transgender or bisexual. I don't want to make him anything like outside of probably just, just a straight guy because otherwise I think I'm doing more harm to the the gay and transgender community i don't want to do any of those things so we i'm not going to be doing that with Ryder. and also guys can have qualities that we may traditionally have called feminine qualities such as having pink hair such as having friends that are girls or such as being a bit of a sensitive sweet kind of guy that is not one it's not a negative thing two it's not necessarily a feminine thing and three does not make the guy a gay guy okay like i don't like that i feel like anybody should be able to exhibit any kind of qualities they want and it doesn't necessarily dictate what their sexual preferences are so i just wanted to get that out there because i know you guys have been talking about it a lot and i know you want to see a gay male sim but i'm not going to be doing it with Ryder because i actually think we'll be doing more harm than good if we do that i want to know your thoughts on that so please feel free to let me know in the comments below but i wanted to give you guys my reasoning hopefully you can understand that as well so the good thing about this family is that because jesse earns really good money she doesn't earn as much as james but james has had a lot of bonuses and promotions like on top of being level 10 he gets raises all the time because he's just so fab but she does get 270 dollars an hour rox arena is still trying to build up she's an instrumental wonder she is on number nine of the musicians so she has one more promotion to potentially potentially get and when she gets that then she will have completely maxed out as well and she's already on $210 an hour more or less so we need to get her practicing a little bit she doesn't have work for two days but little Jessie Rooney does have work in a couple of hours time so I think I might get her up and ready and ready to look after Ryder Rooney by the way look who's in the hallway it's the weird neighbor he's always there he's weird because he always knocks on our door and tells us like I want to come in and listen to you play the piano and then we let him in to listen to the piano and he just walks away and watches TV instead and it's like you're weird and you're not allowed in our home anymore Okay, that's just the way it is. Little Roxy's gonna stay home, look after little Ryder Roo, and also help us with the Christmas decorations. And we have 20,000 pounds to spend, simoleons, not pounds, to make this house really Christmassy. Like, there's a lot of space here to do like a big tree, something quite cool, or here actually, I think here could look quite nice. Obviously the flat is a very modern kind of contemporary trendy flat, so maybe we kind of echo that a little bit in the way that we decorate. And then I was kind of thinking um, it would be quite nice because Jesse obviously works quite closely with Jay. Um, so Jesse and Jay are very close friends and Emma and Jesse, like I always figured that those two would get along really well. And for a really long time, they actually did not get on very well at all. They just, it's not like they didn't get on as friends. They just didn't really care about each other. However, now they're really good friends. So I was thinking it'd be quite nice if we invited, uh, what would you call Jay and Emma? Gemma, I guess. Jay and Emma, um, around and they can kind of come and get dinner together. We can show them the Christmas decorations and just kind of have a little bit of a nice celebration especially because we know that Gemma have been going through their fair share of relationship difficulties at the moment and obviously in the last episode of dream house little uh Gemma uh, Gemma Emma and Max so uh what would you call that Memma or no you guys have a different name for it what do you call Emax I think it's Emax you guys like um like Emax like the <laughs> E M A X Emax I think it would be quite cool what Jesse don't have cake for breakfast. That is actually disgusting. No, that's such a bad way to start your day. Have a healthy breakfast, okay? I was gonna cook pancakes, that is definitely not healthy. Have um, a breakfast scramble, okay? Thought it would be quite nice to invite them round, all kind of hang out together and we can kind of get a little cheeky look in on how the Gemma relationship is going whilst we're not in the dream house. It's like a little sneaky peek kind of dealio. Guys, what do I do about what do I do about the fact that there's no bowl there? I actually hate that feature so much. If there's a mod that you guys know of that stops them from picking up their pet bowl, please let me know because I hate having to buy new pet bowls all the time. It really drives me mad because I don't know where they put it. I do not know where they put it, but I absolutely hate it. Okay, so Rox of Roo has got Ryder back up. Oh my gosh, we've got more bills to pay. She's doing a little bit of morning potty training with them. She actually wants to go get a shower after that, but I think we're probably gonna have to feed the wee baby first. So let's just pop him in this chair and give him a little bit of food. Give him his little morning cereals, then we'll go get our shower. 
And then I'm kind of feeling like like little Ryder might need a little bath as well. So we'll do that straight after. <gasps> Ryder can now use the potty chair, you guys. And he's there having. Oh! I'm so <gasps> no! Ryder! Oh my gosh! Why have you just done that? Why have you just thrown your food? Because now you're sat there, being stinky, being hungry. Poor cleaner man has had to come straight in and and clean it all up because of your insolence. But then how can you feel? Oh, okay, that's that's Roxy's butt right there. How can you get angry at him with those big beautiful eyes? You just can't. You just can't. So um, well I was actually saying ages ago and I kind of lost my train of thought. But you guys are just not. You're not agreeing with his whole hair situation. So I think after we've got him his little bath, we will plan. Okay. Sorry, I know I'm being sidetracked again. This has been a bug since New Cats and Dogs. Everybody can do the insane um, flirt with yourself option in the mirror. Uh, obviously, it's just not right and it really bugs me. But I am going to go into plan outfit and we will change up little Ryder Roo's hair. But Ryder's, de Ryder's definitely in a little bit of a cheeky mood today. He's splashing everywhere. He's throwing his food on the floor. He's just disappeared in front of my very eyes. The cheekiest thing of all, and I love this hair. Like, I actually, oh my god, that's kind of creepy. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. There we go. I actually love the hair so much. He's like bouncing. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. I love his hair, but you guys don't like it. So I will I will do a little bit of a plan outfit and we'll mix up his little hair, okay? Because there was another, I want him to have slightly longer hair. Because we've never had a boy with longer hair, so that's what I'm thinking. However, you guys don't like the current hairy house, but you seem to be quite okay with the color. And I also quite like the idea of having like a different kind of colored hair. So the other hair option we had was this one. And we were kind of looking at like this sort of a color. Cause I think to me that kind of looks like he's got browny, um, blondy hair. And they've just kind of run like, like coffee or something through it. <laughs> that sounds really weird, but you can dye your hair with coffee. Coffee or henna or just something to give him a slight different colour. I mean, I can go slightly more traditional with his hair colour, but I kind of like it to be a little bit more untraditional. Yeah, with those kind of eyebrows. He is so cute! You're so cute, Ryder. I just want to squeeze your little cheeks. And then, like, this is the weird thing. I'm sure I downloaded, yes, I did, some little Christmassy jumpers for him. Okay. That one is probably the one I want to use on Faith, so I quite like Snowman, but I also like Polar Bear. Oh, that's not a Snowman, that's a Penguin. That's a Penguin with a Rudolph hat on. I'm kind of feeling this one. I do like that one a lot. And then I don't think there's any Christmas trousers as such, so I probably won't put any Christmas trousers on him. I love the little noises they make, where they're all like, brap, brap, brap. I don't know why they're brap brapping, but I like that they brap brap. Oh my gosh. The first time I saw toddlers in this game, I was like, this is the cutest thing ever. So I'm going to just mix up his appearance a little bit, you guys. Just a wee bit. I think that looks pretty cool. Let me know what you think of the new hair. Like I said, I just, I want to try longer hair, at least. You guys were saying black for that hair. But to me, that's his hair. Like, that is his hair. That isn't his hair. But, oh, we've got this hair too. We do have this hair as well, but that's the hair Abel has. So I'm not sure if I really want to give him like Abel's hair. Although that looks very cute. But I do want to give him slightly strange colored hair because we have so many Sims with blonde and brown hair that I just think it's quite nice to do something a little bit different. I love that hair. I actually love, I love corkscrew curls on like kids. I think it's really cute. <laughs> it looks funny with that hair. No, let's pop him back to his new, his new hair Reno. Which one did we decide? That one. Or was it that one? I think it was that one, was it? I want to keep him a little bit lighter. And then Jesse and Roxy Room. We've not really mixed up their hair in a while, have we? And I do have a few new hairs, I believe. So we can have a little nosy. Because I think Roxy actually pulls off the shaved hair look so much. She looks pretty cool like that. But I don't like how far back it's shaved. I wish it was just like this little bit here. Not the whole thing. Okay, so this one is new. Oh, the thing is, when you do it dark, you can't see the uh, the plaits as much. Maybe it'd look a bit better on Jessie. Because I like Roxy with dark hair. Like, I feel like Roxy should have dark hair. She actually really suits the fringe, you know? I think that's really cool. Oh, that's a different hair. <laughs> what do you guys think? i kind of scared to, like, make a really huge change like that without getting your guys' feedback. But I quite like her with the buns. You're going to have to let me know in the comments. What other options do I have to show you guys? This is a lot shorter, but I was thinking of giving this to Emma. So please let me know what you think of this hair. Probably in a bit more of a blonde kind of one like this. I want to give that to Emma, although, my gosh, Roxy's beautiful. Like, she is actually just beautiful. 
<gasps> yes, Roxaru. Oh my gosh, look how long her hair is in the part. In the ponytail. I like that a lot. This is a new ponytail too. Oh, this is cool because we could give her a different color at the bottom. <gasps> okay, I'm quite tempted by this. I like the three plaits it has going up. It makes her forehead look a bit small. But I also like that it's got like blue at the ends. I think that's really cool. Okay, that might be the winner, you guys. But please let me know what you think about the fringy hairstyle because I also really, really like that one. And then Jesse Bob's. Oh my god, Jesse Bob's outfit's a little bit similar to mine today because my cut top stops a little bit high up. And I've got a little bit of tum tum out as well. Because this is Jesse's current hair here. Let's see what she looks like with the fringe. See, I don't think she suits a fringe as much as uh, Roxy does. Oh, wow, there's some very cool colours, though. Look at that. She does quite suit it in blonde, actually. Maybe we give Emily a fringe. Emily could look quite cool with that fringe. Okay, please, please let me know what you think about that in the comments, because I'm always a little bit scared of fringes, because, um... Oh, wow, look, it's uh, Lilith. <laughs> because um, I'm really scared of them, like, going wrong, because I got a fringe recently, as you can probably tell. And I hated it, so I'm a bit scared of them now. There's this one I've been wanting to try in Jesse for a little while as well, like... Bup, 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 bups. Oh, wow, that looks pretty. That does look really pretty, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, Jessie's just so cool and gorgeous. Definitely. I would say her body's changed a little bit since she's had um, the baby. I can't really explain it, it just looks slightly different. But what usually happens is you have a baby and your boobs get bigger. <laughs> they obviously shrink down a bit afterwards, but they do tend to stay a little bit bigger after that. Jesse had the opposite. <laughs> I don't know what Ryder's done, but he has taken the boob. Okay, I also like this uh, ponytail. I think that looks really cool as well. She never dyes her eyebrows, Jesse. If you notice, she keeps those strong eyebrows, like no matter what hair she's going for. That one's cute as well. So many cute new hairstyles, you guys. Okay, so that's the hairstyle I wanted to give Roxy, but um, that is clay hair. It's not the hair I want. See, Jesse, sorry, I know I'm duped spending ages on this. Jessie quite suits the uh, the side pony, but I don't want both of them with ponytails. So let's go back. Which was the hairstyle I was quite liking? It had the little tie at the back. Uh, where are you gone? Where have you gone, lovely? <gasps> oh my gosh, I love that. I love that on Emma. Oh my gosh. Okay, Emma's hair is going to go back to being short, you guys. I'm sorry, it's just oh. going to happen because I really like Emma's hair short. And then with uh, Roxy, uh, sorry, Jessie, it's either going to be this gradient, this gradient, or this. I'm kind of thinking this. This is like my Jessie colored hair. It's like that washed out uh, pink. So when she always has. And no, I just don't like it when the eyebrows match. I just don't think it looks right at all. Nope. Hateful. So hateful. There we go. And then you're still a kitten, small money. And so I can't do anything to you, can I? Okay, so slightly new uh, Roxarino hair. Very uh, musician-y. Slightly new Jessie hair. In, in fairness, it just looks like she's given it a bit of a trim and taken the buns out. And then for Ryder, we've got slightly different hair as well, which you guys requested. And that is the whole shebang. Shebang. <laughs> There, I got the music eventually. Um, what are you doing, lovely? Why are you doing and science? You're not meant to be doing and science. If anything, you need to do your little musical instruments. Hey, Roxy, it's James. Do you want to hang out tonight? Tonight? I mean, I can't go now. It's it's 2 p.m. And we've actually got Emma coming around. So as much as I would love to hang out, Jamesy Bobs, I can't. But what I will do instead is why don't you just ring James for it? Send him a little happy text. Be like, I can't come out tonight, but I'm going to give you a quick kick. A quick call and we'll have a little chit chat. And then I would like you to do a little bit of training of the rider, please. Let's do a little bit of teaching to say please and thank you. So we have a nice, well-mannered child. James is like, please, let's go out and enjoy the day. No, you know what? Selma must be at work and James is like, sitting at home twiddling his thumbs. Go hang out with new friend Odeo. Actually, old friend Odeo. Not Dio. Who's Dio? So we're going to teach him some little manorinos now. And if you guys are thinking it's weird, why would James be texting uh, Roxy and asking her to hang out? James and Roxy, of course, lived together for ages. I had all their days off together on the same days and actually ended up getting on really, really well. And it was lovely. It was really nice. But we're teaching this little cutie pie a little bit of manners. And here is his slightly updated hair and his very very cute little christmas look for you guys as well i think it looks really sweet with a little polar bear What's and look who's oh, oh why are you doing that sad look who's come to come and hang out with them as well it's the little kiddo who actually i think must be aging up fairly soon oh why are you sad oh you're sad from jesse not being here also, you're a little bit hungry, so why don't we give him some little foodies? <laughs> little peanut butter jelly jam. Oh no, it's 5 p.m. and I said I was going to um 
decorate the flat, didn't I? Okay. We are, oh my gosh, there's still so much stuff left to put in the house. Oh, it actually scares me when I look at it because it's so packed already that it's like, what else could I even put in the house? I don't want to like overly fill it. I might just put a little plant on the table for them here. Oh, it's quite a big plant. Can we put that back there? It covers the clock a little bit, but at least I'm putting stuff somewhere, you guys. Oh my gosh, we've still got Hajar. Ugh. No, don't sell Hajar. Oh my gosh. That would be really bad. Okay, so I've filled up that shelf a little bit more. And I've just popped a little bit more stuff in that room too. But let's get on with the Christmassy enough. Christmassy stuff. Oh, can't speak today. Okay, so I was thinking of putting a nice little tree just here. Let's do the old Christmas search. Hopefully that this is bringing on all my Christmas sets. I feel like it should be. So we need something a little bit different to the one that James and Salma got, which I think was, uh, wasn't that one actually. That was the one they've got, isn't it? Okay, so we'll do something a little bit different to that. Uh, they want something cool and they've got quite a big space to put it in. And do you know what? The, uh, the ceilings are quite high here as well. So we've got a little bit of freedom because we could even like make, oh wow, that one looks quite cool. So that's, we've just made that one bigger. Could we make that one bigger? Okay, no, that one's too big. That one is too big. That one's too big. Too big. Too big. That one, however, goes to the perfect size. I'm just gonna turn on baby. So I am very tempted by this one. There's a few different colors you can have it as well. <gasps> I like that one a lot. Okay, and then there's also this one. There is that one too, but that one's really big. None of it, like, I feel like Christmas trees should be really big. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little bit of a... Christmas tree, a big tree purist, but I'm gonna go for this one. Now, this one doesn't have a tree skirt with it. I like the wicker basket at the bottom back though. So I think I'm gonna add a tree skirt. Let's just, let, let me just see if there's a star I can put on top though. Cause like this tree doesn't have a star on it. So let me just like raise this one. But you remember how hard the, oh. <laughs> Oh no, I thought I'd got it on. Okay, let me grab it again. Where are you going, little star? Okay, I need to make it a bit bigger. Okay, is that on top? Oh my gosh, this is like so hard to judge. <laughs> are you on now? For God's sake. Okay, there. <laughs> It's kind of on top. That's as good as you're getting, I'm afraid, you guys. Because it, it doesn't really want to behave itself. I might try and twist it. No, no. <laughs> What's going on? Okay. No! No! <laughs> Stop being so annoying, little star. What do you like? Okay, that's that's not right. Oh my gosh, if only I wasn't such a perfectionist. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. So let's get a little tree skirt. And by that, we're just going to have to get a rug um, and just kind of put it around the bottom of the tree. Because I like tree skirts and I feel like trees should definitely have them. If you don't have a tree skirt or if you don't know what that means, we didn't know what it was until we went to um, Macy's in America and we saw it for the first time. I don't know if it was a bit of an American thing. It's like just a little circular rug you have along the bottom of your tree. We were like, this is so cool. I've never seen one before. Let's get it because no one in the UK has them. Got back to the UK and literally that year they became a thing. So <laughs> that was kind of a waste. It wasn't. I love the one we've got. It's really cool. It's also special because we know we got it from America and it was a bit of a special thing for us. So there, I think just like a nice red one's gonna go really well. And then we need some presents under the tree. So I'm just kind of filling the whole tree area with presents. Is this floating? Are you floating? Can you go? Return to earth, please. There you go. <laughs> just loads of nice little presents underneath the tree because I really like that. I think we'll go for the red theme in this house. Everything is gonna go slightly red. Sort of a very um, traditionally kind of Christmas. A little bit of stack in there, do you like that? Okay, so we've got some lovely red candles that we can kind of put in the middle of the table like this. In fact, let's um, move this over here just temporarily. Pop these uh, little candles in the middle. Oh my gosh, red presents. <laughs> let's pop them under too. Loads of gifts. This is a very generous Christmassy house. What I quite need is some more wreathy kind of dealios. I'm definitely feeling that vibe. Oh, cannot make changes outside owned area. Never mind. I can put it on. Oh, look, Kira's here. I can put it on this side of the door. Really nice big red wreath like that. I think it's really cool. Actually, I'm going to put that in the middle of the table. Move the candles and have like candles like uh, either side of the table. Uh, sorry, either side of the like decoration. Hopefully people are still gonna be able to eat on the table though, that's the thing. We might have to do a little bit of testing. But I think that's quite a trendy way to do it. I'm gonna put a candy cane over the floor. These guys don't actually have a fireplace. <laughs> so I can't do the, the little fireplace trick. However, I can give them this weird like a uh, helicopter Christmas thing. I don't even really know what it is. 
And I can still give them their little stockings. Pop them on there, the little red ones. Oh, they're floating. Okay. So they still got four because they still have one for Kira. Some nice little red stars. Basically, I just need all the red things I can get. Little candles on there. I feel like we need like a big rug or something here. Oh, look at this. It's kind of a bit garish. I don't mind. A Merry Christmas wall decor. There's this little like baubly table thing as well. I haven't used in anybody's yet, so I might just put it here. And then we used to have like, um, we just used to put like loads of like Christmas stuff on one of the tables in our house when we were kids. So I think it would be quite nice to do that again. So we've got Mr. Snowman. Ooh. Oh, wow, big snowman. Okay, yes. Yes, most definitely. Let's pop him there as you come in. You'd be like, hey, Mr. Snowman. Cute little Christmas cushion there. Another little gift. Oh, this is cute. This is really Christmassy. Okay, lights, please. We need some lights. Oh, a deer candle. Oh my gosh, get in my house right now. Oh my gosh, anything that's to do with candles is great. The minute you add deer into the mix, you know, oh, script call failed. You are joking me. I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. That's the saddest, that's the saddest thing ever. Okay, and then I just kind of like to hang lights everywhere. <laughs> like the hanging light everywhere vibe is definitely the one I'm gonna go for. I wish there was more options with these lights. I find that a little bit annoying. The weird thing is I downloaded loads of like Christmassy style lights. I don't know where they are. I don't know whether they've like accidentally gone to um, like decor instead of lighting maybe. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this. Do you think if I hang that across the table, they'll still eat it? Look at that! Oh my gosh, I love that. <gasps> Idea! Oh my gosh. I bet Ryder would love that. It's like a, it looks like a Minecraft deer to me. It's really cute. <gasps> a cup of tea with lemon! Hello! Let's pop you on there, little tea. Little tea Rooney. Oh, that is cute. A little star deco we can pop on there. Oh my god. I just I'm just mud for Christmas, you guys. <laughs> Actually, I'm just mud for Christmas. Oh my gosh, more trees. <laughs> more tree related things. <gasps> Look, a garland. Oh my gosh. Where can I put this? Where you're actually going to be able to see it. Can I like hang it off the edge of like here? There we go. <gasps> love that. Actually love that so much. Yay. Re oh, they're the wrong way around. Oh no. <laughs> they are totally the wrong way around because the bow is not facing the right way. There we go. That was a bit of an effort. There's loads of stuff in here that I kind of missed. So I'm quite excited that I found it. Like this little Christmassy ornament. They're running out of places to put food because I'm literally covering every <laughs> every workspace with like just stuff. But the thing I haven't found, which I really wanted to find, is the Christmas lights. So that is a little bit stressful. I think it's something I'm probably going to have to check on before Dreamhouse and maybe we put it in Dreamhouse instead. In the meantime, we've got other things we can hang up. It's kind of tough here as well because the lights would have to go behind the blinds. I don't know why, that's just how it works. So that would look pretty weird. Oh no, look how far away they are. Oh my gosh, bunny cage. Is there a bunny in it? It says really small cage for a rabbit, which I don't really like. But if there's a bunny cage, can we put a bunny in it? <gasps> oh my gosh. Should we pretend? It's not pretending. This, this is real. This is happening. I think we pretend that um, Ryder gets a bunny for Christmas. But they give it to him a little bit early so that on Christmas Day, it's all ready for him in his room. And he has a pet bunny. Please tell me you guys love that idea because it actually, I love it so much. I want to cry about it. Okay. That took so long to do. <laughs> But we now have a, a little bunny rabbit in the room with um, a little carrot in its cage. <laughs> Literally, you guys have no idea how long it took just to get that to happen. That cage did not want to behave at all. So there we go. Bunny rabbit cage is complete. He now has a bunny rabbit. Is there any other colors? No, there's just one. Just one of everything. But Ryder has a pet bunny, which he got for as a Christmas present, okay? Early Christmas gift. Okay, I'm just going to go for it with the lights. <laughs> I'm going to pop them everywhere. I think it's going to look really cute. This is going to be a pain to get rid of, but they look cute for now, right? Plus, it's their first Christmas with Ryder, so I kind of feel like they'd go all out. They'd want it to look really cute. So, first Christmas with um, Kira as well, actually. Kind of making all the lights link up. <laughs> there we go. Loads and loads of lights. Oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> I don't know if it's a little bit OTT, but I don't care. I love Christmas. I want to make it mega Christmassy, okay? And I'm just going to put those over there as well. Oh, is this some... I want to put some stuff on here. This stuff is going to be like the biggest pain in the whole world. Let's try and clear away once Christmas is done. <laughs> okay, I know that's kind of floating a little bit strangely. I mean, I could make it a little bit bigger potentially, but now it's really high. <laughs> Oh, I can't put it down anymore. That's so annoying. I'm Oh, I'm just going to leave it like in its natural state of things. I don't mind if it hangs a little bit strangely, but there we go. I think things are looking real Christmassy as soon as you walk in, which I love. But it has made me realize that they don't have a rug by the door. I'm sorry, you guys, if this is boring. I've nearly finished. I do just want to get them a rug as they come in. And since they've got a cat, I kind of feel like they'd have a cat rug. We'll do red at the moment to match the Christmassy sort of vibes. Oh man, I wish I had, the fi I had a fire now. Look how Christmassy that that fireplace is. Oh, look at that fireplace. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Oh man, I want them to have a fireplace in their apartment now. Okay, okay. We are officially done, you guys. We are officially done. Let's see how little take take a little look at how it looks from the corner of the room. I mean, they've got it super Christmassy and I love it. I love, 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 love it. I love Christmas so much, you guys. And apparently so do Joxy because look at this. Look at this. Have you ever seen a more Christmassy city apart? Oh my god. Oh my god, where have I gone? <gasps> Don't fall, Claire! No, get back in. There we go. <laughs> have you ever seen a more Christmassy apartment? <gasps> How weird is that? That's the reflection of a totally different place in the bauble. What? Oh my gosh. Look, 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 look. Oh wait, I can't stop now, but that's different still. That's like an Eames chair. Okay, that's really weird and funny. And a look on this side. It's a different house again. Okay, but still, you guys let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. I know we've gone a little bit mad, but it's Christmas. It is Christmas time, mistletoe and wine and all that jazz. You're kind of meant to go a little bit crazy. You're just meant to. It's the way of the world, okay? So there we go. Super Christmassy in the flat. It's 5.22 p.m. Jess Arino is going to be back from work soon. This one is angry and hungry. Why are you sat watching TV when you should be feeding your youngling, Roxy Reno? So why don't you give give him his little PB, PB, PBJ sandwich? The sandwich that was promised. And why don't we have a look at some delicious kind of foodies that we could uh, get ready for when little Gemma, Gemma come round. <laughs> That's such a weird name. Why is it just a bowl there? <gasps> can we just take a second? Oh my gosh, look at that view. Oh wow, look at that lovely light streaming through. And then look at this little lemon tea. Look at the lemon tea, it's so good. Oh, imagine, like literally imagine cooking here and you've got like all of this to look out onto. You'd feel so Christmassy. That Christmas tree is a little bit of a fire hazard though. I'm not gonna lie. Look at this, look at the pine cones. So much Christmassy stuff, you guys. We need to get the little baby into bed. So Jesse, you've not seen him today. You're tired, you uh, need amusement. So why don't you go and read Ryder to sleep? Have yourself a little bit of a nippy nap. And then we will get the guys round for some nice dindons. Joxy, you're going to be chef tonight because you've had a much more relaxed day. So what are you going to be cooking, everyone? Needs to do something really special, don't we? Okay, let me, let me go to this cook menu so I can see what's the nicest stuff that we could do. Oh, she's only skill level five, so it's not going to be that amazing. Why don't we do Italian meatballs? I think that's quite a nice way to go. So you cook those Italian meatballs. Jesse, have a little bit of nap. A little bit like read, read little baby to bed first because this is the first time she'll have got to spend time with him all day. That's the problem with doing the work is, oh wow, is she like I'm literally too tired to even read to you? Read to your baby, there we go. Good momming. Yet again, poor Ryder is in bed looking at being like, what? What is even happening? <laughs> what is even happening right now? At least he's got his little rabbit kind of creepily watching over him. Is he asleep already? Oh my God, look, it's really blurry. He's getting there. He's getting sleepy, you guys. Look at his little tired eyes. And he's gone. He is gone. Okay, little Roxy is there doing her little cooking, getting everything ready. I don't know where she's gonna serve it because we're kind of running out of space. But we've got music playing. It's all ready for those guys to come around. She could have a little dance. Everything looks good. Jesse is having a nap right now, so why don't we invite them over? <gasps> I forgot that uh, Roxy and Jay really, really don't get on at the moment. Which makes me definitely think it was Jesse and Jay that were flirting, which I kind of thought after we figured out the whole group thing and the whole fact that the group had the flirt with everybody thing that maybe 
it was maybe it wasn't that maybe it wasn't Jay and Jesse at all but why would Roxy hate Jess, uh, Jay so much this could be a good opportunity to try and repair that relationship <gasps> not everyone could make it over Jay would rather not come oh my gosh okay Jesse first of all can we change your outfit just to like a nice normal outfit and then you're gonna be ha you're gonna have to be the one that invites Jay but look Jay doesn't have uh, any any at all romance build up with Jesse like there's nothing there at all and look at Jesse doing some nice reassures of Roxy there well at least Emma has come round okay so it might be a little bit tense between these guys but we've cooked the beautiful food I absolutely love uh, Roxy's new hair I think she looks really really pretty and everybody's here just to hopefully get on hopefully there's not gonna be any nastiness and everyone's just gonna chat and be nice okay I feel stressed about people eating now. At least say hello to him, okay? Look at these two flirting with each other straight away. She think that's like Roxy trying to like make sure she's putting a claim on little Jessie Bobs. I love as well, like look at Jessie's eyes. She's got like amber eyes. And they're just like the prettiest thing in the whole world. I just love her. I love her eyes so much. So pretty and gorgeous. Okay, everyone's kind of chatting, but obviously these guys just hate each other. Can they, um, can they kind of try and sort out their relationship? In fact, can Jesse say to Roxy, help fix bad relationship with Jay? Let's see if this works. I mean, Jay wolfed that food down, so it must have been really good. I kind of feel like we should have done a dessert now. Maybe I'll get Roxy to put together a- We're, we're working on a relationship, so thanks for helping us through. Okay, that is good. And look, it's taken away so much of her hatred to Jay, so that is pretty good. So I think um, maybe we can bake a little after after foodie kind of thing. Oh, they all sound horrible, though. Why don't you bake some, some cookies for dessert, okay? Oh, look, these guys are chatting. Hopefully things are going- I thought they were going to chat. Yeah, okay, okay. So things seem good between these two, but I guess he doesn't know anything about her very, very flirty meal with Max. But Emma seems pretty happy. I will say she seems pretty happy. These guys are still really flirty together, by the way. Really flirty. I like I like those two as a couple, though. I do like them a lot as a couple. And little uh, little Roxy Roo is in here doing her little cookies. Oh, you can see them in their little... Oh, they look nice. Good job, Roxy. And she's kind of... I think she's gotten over some of her hatred for Jay, which is a good thing. I don't like my sims hating each other. Oh, look, the neighbors complaining because it's 12 a.m. At 12 o'clock and we've got loud noise. But I don't care. Like, we hate that guy. We're having laughter in here. Loads of laughter. Oh, look, she's made little cookies. Why don't you get everybody to come and grab some cookies? There we go. Everyone's having a nice little cookie for themselves as well. I mean, look at Roxy. She's still sat, like, quite far away. And she just did a little vomit noise about the cookie. Jesse. Oh, Roxy, get involved. Come on. She still does hate him a little bit. I don't know what she hates him about. I almost want to... Oh, is there, like, a confront option? Like, what? what is it that's been bugging her about him so much? Oh, those two are still arguing about something. The neighbor's really annoyed as well. I wonder why these two just don't get on they're both nice sims but they just don't like each other oh i don't know what they're arguing about you guys look at emma's just like trying really hard just to ignore it but they are full on arguing and just jesse and uh jesse and emma are just start chatting with away with each other look at that like literally hans on the head they do not like each other the cookies have made jesse ill which is not great. Oh my god. Imagine trying to have a conversation while they're just like yelling at each other across the table. Oh, they really don't like each other, you guys. In fact, are they leaving? Are they actually leaving after that? He just left. He just left. He just literally walked straight out of the house. Oh, Roxy, what do you like? And Emma's like... Yeah, I kind of probably should get going now, you guys. Thanks for having us. Oh, oh no. I don't think Jesse's very happy about that whole behavior tonight at all. Oh, but look at that. You can't... <laughs> These guys have, like, the strongest relationship in the whole world. Because straight away, she is just like... And they're like, fine. You're forgiven with your beautiful new hair. Okay, guys. Can we do a little bit of cleaning up and putting things away, please? I was actually just looking as well. Look at their rela- they, they hate the neighbor, by the way. It's not just me that hates him. Like, uh, Jesse hates him as well. But look, Jesse's relationship with uh, Roxy, they're married. They're still in love. But their romance is actually, like, down to half. So the whole, like, arguing with, with Jay thing does seem to have, like, I don't know. It's damaged their little bit of uh, romance a little bit, which I don't like at all. And I don't know why Jay and her don't like each other. This relationship is really tense. 
Things are likely to go awry. I don't know why they don't like each other, but they just don't. We can't even blame it on the wine or anything like we did with uh, Emma and Max. Because look, Jessie's straight up the next day at 7am playing with Lil Ryder. So who she actually has an awesome relationship with, which is really nice. Those guys have gone to work, so I called for like a so nanny to cool. come round. <laughs> but since Kira was here, she's just kind of like hanging out with him instead, which is really cute. Oh, cause Roxy's got work. I know Kira's here already, but I downloaded a mod that should let me call a babysitter. Why, see, why is Emma? I thought it was teenagers. I literally thought it was gonna be teenagers. But instead, it's the na like I, I wanted to invite Lila for to look after her, but I could invite Emma around who could potentially do that. Or James. Let's invite James over so he can get to know Ryder a little bit. Oh, of course, I'll babysit no, today. No. I'll be there in a few minutes. <gasps> and he's wrecking, which is weird because he's starving hungry, but yet he's thrown his food on the floor. So now she's going to head off to work in that ridiculous rig out. Look, what I wanted her to be the babysitter. But now we've got the babysitter and we've got James. So this baby's gonna be like the most w well cared for child in the whole world. But it's nice because at least it means that James gets to kind of get to know Ryder a little bit. And how cute is that James coming around to babysit anyway? Absolute cutie bum bum. Hey James, he's got stinky diaper James. Can we work on this whole diaper situation please? Because he's very very sad about the diaper. Look, even James is noticing how gross he smells. Oh, James is like throwing him around on his shoulders though which is really cute oh this is so nice what would that be why do would be james's nephew okay james can you please change his diaper though oh james doing awesome parenting look at this oh you can tell james has raised two of his own can't you because now he's giving him a little buff even though Ryder's completely soaking him this kid gets a lot of buffs i think it's because he's always pooping in his nappy but look at that that is cute. I'm loving that Ryder seems to be having the most interactions with other family members of any child in the series ever. <gasps> oh, wow. Jessie has just come home and instantly fall asleep on the floor. She is so, so tired. Oh, poor Jessie kids. She, I swear she's got so much vacation day. She's got nine days. We didn't even need to send her into work today. Kira, I can't meet you anywhere because look at her. The poor thing. Thank God James is here to look after Ryder. Kimba. Ryder who, like, boy. Faith will definitely be the next kid that we Sounds age up. Like but Ryder's kind of doing really well no. with his skills and stuff. Abu, Abu. Abu. Probably needs Freeza. to do quite a lot more of his thinking Krim. skills. Bain but then after Krim. that, he could potentially Krim. be the next one we age up as well. Oh, and now ah, these guys are having a cute boy. little catch-up together. I mean, poor Ryder is just like a ball on the bed. <laughs> I think you should probably look how cute he looks like that though. Literally, why is it all blurry? Literally so adorable as like a little ball of, of blur. Why, there, why are you so blurry, Ryder? What is going on there? I just want to look at him because there you go. He looks like a little angel sleeping like that, but he does need to go to sleep properly. And what noise do we need to keep down? We're literally just hanging out with our child. Are you actually kidding me? Diego and Roxy now despise each other. <gasps> and James has left. He's done his babysitting for the day. He broke our PC and then he left. Hey guys, she has work again today. Um, but I still can't, like it's taking so long to get to level 10 on the piano. Like that's why the neighbor hates her for a lot as well. <laughs> Because they, uh, he hates to play the piano at home. He thinks it's too loud. She can't get the promotion until she gets it up to level 10. And it's gonna take ages. And even after that, she still needs to get her guitar or violin up to level 8 as well. So it's gonna be a tough old, a tough old swing to get it all the way up. Ryder's fully developed his imagination, you guys. He can now view art. Oh my gosh. He just went mental about asking for a bath. I mean, he is a little bit gross. But his imagination skill is the one that he's leveled up first. Which I kind of like, like if that happens, I'm kind of like, well, maybe we should make him like a little artist or like a little singer. Something that's quite an imaginative, creative kind of career, I think would work great for him. Look at this. Bounce, 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 bounce. I don't know quite why it's doing that. I was hoping, you know, because I've had quite a few days in this house now, that this little kitty cat would like age up to the next age. But it has done no such thing, you guys. It is still just like a little kitten, which is super annoying. How long will it take? Like, I feel like Bruno aged up really quickly. But this little pookie is not aging up at all. Okay, so these guys clearly do not care what the neighbor thinks about them anymore because they're playing the little music. In fact, I'm going to turn it up to high. And they're having a little bit. Oh, he was having a boogie. Now he's having a little bit, little bit of a boohoo about himself. Because he's on a boogie down. <laughs> 
He's danced to the music and it's actually made him sad. Now forget that Ryder, do some boogians, cause look, the neighbor even hates Ryder. So at this point, I'm just like, I don't care. We're gonna play music late into the night and we're just gonna enjoy our life, even if the neighbor can't. So you, da you dance your little heart out, Ryder, cause that neighbor is miserable and you are glorious. Always remember that, okay? There we go. I love that they're just like, <laughs> this is the dancing to them and like, but bopping up and down as well. I love that. I also think it's kind of creepy that she's dressed like Elvis behind him. But if that's what you want to do, Roxy, that is what you want to do. So I'm sorry that little, um, little Frankie, the kitten, did not age up into a cat today. I really thought he would. And I want to know what he looks like as a cat. But hopefully you guys like our very Christmassy, very very Christmassy in the city apartment. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We of course still need to decorate dream house and we still need to decorate cats and dogs but I'm pretty happy at what we have so far and I actually think this apartment looks absolutely amazing. Like it's so Christmassy and I love it so much. If you guys do, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys in another episode of Sims 4 in the city. Bye!